The Fremantle Dockers sit again clear inside of the top four and have a massive clash with St Kilda this weekend. Key forward Rory Lobb joins us now. Rory, thanks for your time. It was a career best five goals from you against the power. You seem to enjoy playing alongside Griffin Logue. Yeah, it was uh, good to, to get the five goals. A uh, career best where I've had four a few times, like I said. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's been great playing with uh, our Griff when he comes up there. Obviously, missed him last week. Uh, he had to go down back. But, yeah, just him having him there with, with Tadzi um, just allows me to play a little bit more free and be able to uh, smash some leads out and uh, be able to play a little bit more like a small. Uh, indeed, you did. Now, you're in career best form and playing with a team in premiership contention this year, but... There are lots of rumours of your desire to potentially be traded. Where are you at with your playing future? Yeah, well, obviously I served that year on my contract. Um, I don't like to talk about, you know, uh, up and coming years. Uh, I, I usually just focus on what's happening during the year. And, and right now it's playing really good footy um, and trying to make finals and, and finish as high as we can to give ourselves the best chance of winning a, winning a premiership. But long term, you think your future is at Freo? Yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, there's a few things that, um, you know, we've been working through. And, um, yeah, I've been re really enjoying my footy this year. Um, you know, injury-free so far, touch wood. But, yeah, obviously, need to see what happens at the end of the year. But right now, it's just focusing on finals. Yeah, very good. Now, Andy Brayshaw, one of the best players in the competition right now, he rightly deserves all the rave reviews that he is getting. What is it about him that impresses you the most? I think just the, the head on his shoulders at his, at his age, um, you know, he's so down to earth. Yeah, he's not an arrogant person at all. Um, really easy to get along with. And then just his two-way running, um, you know, the way that he gets up and down the ground. You see that tackle at the end that he, that he got on Finn Lace and just been able to mm. stick those and, and run out games so well, um, you know, really sets him apart from other mids. Of course, it's the Saints at Marvel Stadium this weekend. They've got the better of you back in round two. What do you have to do to beat them on Saturday night? Yeah, obviously it was really disappointing uh, round two. We feel like we didn't really play our footy. Um, we, you know, it's been a while since we've played that game. Um, you know, we've really learned a lot about ourselves uh, as a team and obviously they've changed a little bit of the way they've played. They played really well last week. Um, I watched a bit of that game. Um, we haven't really uh, looked into them too much yet. Uh, we'll, we'll look towards them yet, uh, tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it should be a really good match up at Etihad for sure. Rory, thank you for your time and all the best this weekend. Sweet, thank you.